Welcome to teaching the character competencies of growth mindset and grit to increase the level of student motivation in the classroom. This is the introduction video for the units and lessons about growth mindset and grit and their relationship to student motivation. Your role as the instructor is to facilitate the delivery of the recorded units and lessons so that you can teach the students about how the brain functions so that we can learn, explain the difference between thinking about our intelligence with a fixed mindset or with a growth mindset, and you'll be introduced to Stanford University psychologist Dr. Carol Dweck and learn about her mindset theory and its importance in helping students to be more motivated to learn. You will also teach the important characteristics necessary for students to display grit. You will hear University of Pennsylvania psychologist Dr. Angela Duckworth explain her theory of grit and how students who display grit are more motivated to learn than our students who do not display grit. You will also be informed about pre-tests and post-test surveys. So if you desire to track the progress of your students, you will have the necessary tools. So let's talk about student motivation. The education accountability movement in America today is based mainly on the cognitive skills associated only with reading, writing, and arithmetic. The other core subjects are excluded and there are no measures for what are often called non-cognitive or soft skills. The use of these two terms is very unfortunate because they have the tendency to lessen the importance of these other skills or characteristics. So for the lessons in this series, the term character is coupled with the term competency from the recent competency-based education movement. These two terms are used to describe the other skills as character competencies. Before we learn more about the character competencies of growth mindset and grit, we look at the brain and how the brain functions. The theory of growth mindset is based a great deal on research from the past two decades on the function of the brain and more specifically the process involved in just how our brain learns. Due to the relationship that exists between growth mindset and grit, brain research also has a connection to that theory. In Unit 1, the lessons give a simple scientific description of the parts of a brain cell or neuron and continue on to how the impulse travels from one neuron to the next in succession. Even more important to the relationship of how our brain functions related to learning, information is given to explain how that process of impulse transmission relates to what is called neuroplasticity which in simple terms is the ability of your brain to change and adapt in response to experience. When you are learning a new skill, the more you focus and practice, the better you become. This is a result of new neural pathways that form in your response to learning efforts. Unit 2 lessons show students how the brain can be strengthened in the same way that the muscles in our body can strengthen. Through work, challenges, and effort, our brains are constantly changing and creating new neural pathways. This means that everyone is capable of learning and becoming intelligent. Just like we go to the gym to lift weights, jog on a treadmill or spin on a bicycle to increase the size and strength of our muscles, students learn that challenging schoolwork, struggling to learn, and continuing to do and redo our studies will eventually create more numerous and stronger neural pathways 
and we will eventually learn. Taking on challenges makes our brain stronger, and with enough practice, something challenging will eventually become another ability. Students begin to understand that like lifting a certain weight is difficult until you have built up enough muscle strength, learning something new is difficult until you build up enough neuron pathways to make the proverbial light bulb go off in your head. The lessons for Unit 3 give students permission to fail and make mistakes over and over again as they learn. A video informs students about famous failures like Michael Jordan, Oprah Winfrey, and Albert Einstein, who of course went on to amazing achievements and successes in their life in spite of the failures they had and the mistakes they made along the way. Telling students they need to take advantage of the feedback they get isn't just good advice, it's established science because 10,000 is the number of hours it takes to become an expert in almost any field. We will now introduce the character competencies of growth mindset and grit and talk about their importance to student motivation. Let's listen to Carol Dweck explain the difference between thinking with a fixed mindset compared to thinking with a growth mindset and the effect these two different mindsets have on student motivation and therefore student learning and achievement. In my work I've discovered two mindsets that students can have about their intelligence. Some kids think their intelligence is just a fixed trait. We call this the fixed mindset and that's that. Um, they think it's carved in stone, and when they believe that, they worry about it. They worry about how much they have. They're afraid of challenges. They are upset by mistakes, and they achieve less in the long run. But other students have what I call a growth mindset. They believe their intelligence, their talents, are things that can be developed through their efforts, through instruction, through dedication over time. And these are the kids who are learners. They don't worry about how smart they look at every moment. They're interested in getting smarter. Take on challenges, enjoy difficulty, expect to expend effort, and they achieve more over the long haul. Carol Dweck has done extensive research to reveal there are students with a fixed mindset who believe intelligence is a fixed trait. Or they have a growth mindset, believing that intelligence can be improved. The concept of growth mindset developed from findings of research conducted by Dweck and others over three decades. Students with a fixed mindset believe their intelligence is a set trait that they cannot improve, and therefore they often will not try because of their fear of failure or not looking smart. Students with a growth mindset understand that intelligence can be improved through their continued effort, learning from their failures, and showing persistence in spite of obstacles and setbacks. Growth mindset is an understanding of how our brain functions and how we learn, as well as the realization that we learn more from mistakes and failures than we ever do from success. Dweck shows through her extensive research that compared to students who possess a fixed mindset, students who possess a growth mindset are usually more motivated. Dweck realized that student achievement showed increases when students believed that their intelligence was not fixed, but instead could improve through their effort and learning. Students with a growth mindset see the value in facing challenges and persisting with effort to overcome obstacles so they can increase their intelligence and accomplish tasks. For teachers, it can be a self-fulfilling prophecy because teachers who possess a growth mindset can help many of the lower-achieving students adopt a growth mindset too.
Dr. Dweck indicates the reason for this is because a growth mindset, theirs and ours, helps students to seek learning, to love learning, and to learn more effectively. Along with the theory of growth mindset is the concept of grit, which relates very well to growth mindset in its importance to student motivation. So let's listen now to Dr. Angela Duckworth describe the term that she coined, grit, and let her show how important it can be to possess this character competency to be able to sustain motivation over a long period of time to realize our goals. Grit, put simply, is perseverance and passion for very long-term goals. To say a few more words about it, grit is really about your stamina, how consistently you're working in a certain direction and then how hard you're working in that direction. It is not about intensity. I've had young people come to me after talks and say, well, let me just tell you how gritty I am. I spent 72 hours without sleeping and I did this amazing thing. And I congratulate them, but I say, so what did you do the next week? And how many years have you been working on this? So when we assess grit by looking at people's biographies, for example, we don't necessarily look for for bursts of unusual productivity or effort, but we really look for constancy of effort over time. Angela Duckworth informs us that from her research, one characteristic emerged as a consistent predictor of success, and it wasn't social intelligence, it wasn't good looks, physical health, and it wasn't IQ. It was grit, the perseverance and passion for long-term goals. Duckworth shows us that compared to students who do not possess grit, students who do possess grit are usually more motivated. Researchers have found that the self-discipline aspect of grit is better than a person's IQ score in determining whose grades will show improvement. Grittier students attained higher levels of education and higher GPAs, even though they had lower SAT scores than less grittier students. Duckworth is now collaborating with Dweck to determine if there is a link between growth mindset and grit. And these two highly respected researchers understand the benefit to education if these character competencies can be taught to increase student motivation. The purpose of the units and lessons in this intervention series is to teach the character competencies of growth mindset and grit to students in an attempt to increase the level of motivation of those students in the classroom. There are three units of instruction with a total of seven lessons, and each lesson is approximately 20 minutes in length. Unit one, thinking about the thinking brain, has four lessons, the last of which is a wrap-up quiz show competition. Unit two, strengthening your brain like you strengthen your muscles, has two lessons. And lastly, unit three, the importance of making mistakes, has one. All of these lessons are in both PowerPoint and video versions with a narrator, which is why you as the teacher will assume the role of facilitator. If you're interested in documenting the progress your students make over the course of the units and lessons, the following pre-tests and post-tests can be utilized. Dr. Carol Dweck's eight-item growth mindset scale, Dr. Angela Duckworth's eight-item grit scale for children, and Pintrich, Smith, Garcia, and McKeech's 26-item Part A Motivation section of the Motivated Strategies for Learning questionnaire. Finally, a website has been created that contains the entire toolkit of all the videos, presentations, 
and the documents associated with the pretests and post-tests. There is also contact information for Austin Garofalo if you need any assistance or have any questions.